Hey guys, Big Mike here, and today we're going to be doing the Shrine of Oryx for Destiny. This is the level 9 mission uh, on the Ocean of Storms moon. This is the 8th episode. So let's get going. of Oryx must be destroyed. Now if you don't know Oryx, Oryx is the father of Crota and Crota is the one who took over the planet moon. No, the moon, not the planet moon, but the moon itself. There is a shrine and he is the son of Oryx. The of and Oryx thing. is, if you haven't known already, he's the late. Taken King. This time you'll spawn in the Hellmouth. What you will do is you will fight your way through the chasm that you did in the Sword of Crota. You'll fight your way through that chasm again. This time, a little bit harder. Via because they're all of the enemies are going to be harder. Destroy these knights. It's going to add more to your problem, your life crisis. And when the knights pick up your shield, it's a good time to reload. Because when they put up their shields, they'll put it up for a short period of time. Which, if you have a, a nice gun that reloads in a short time, that'll be perfect. Something's got been worked out. I'll stay on it. And then you will find fallen down here. This is alkalite. They're going to be battling the fallen house. Something that's driven them down here. The thing that's driven them down here is the shrine of Oryx. Knockout, fallen, and hive. Once you got all those guys knocked out, make sure you get the Sturbators, those powered up, the Fallen Troops. And when you get powered up, it's fun, but when the enemy gets powered up, you hate it. Okay. Or, you know, maybe like a challenge. But just to be sure, always kill the Sturbators first. Make sure you always get the shanks because they are annoying. And be careful about the wizards. Always try to use tactics on the wizards. Head down here, where it was once guarded by runes. And then you will end if up these into a little chamber over here. here. They don't crawl out of their skips too often. Sounds like an opportunity. Be careful with the stealth ones. Make sure you kill the Baron, and the Baron's a good captain, except he's much stronger. He's a major. Try to use some tacticals against him. Make sure you kill these stealth vandals, too. That's one less Baron to work 
Now once you kill the Fallen, you're going to have to look for the shrine. The shrine is to the left of where you when you entered. Your flashlight will turn on. And then once you get down here, there's going to be a little um place where you go. I don't even want to know what they're keeping down there. And then once you go down. you'll take a left. Now this is really important. If you take a right, it's a... not a dead end, but it's a longer way. If you take the left, it's going to be very short, quick, easy. To be honest, I've never tried, I've never looked what... I, all I know is that I've taken the right way. It's a lot harder. I've never took one on the higher level. I don't really worry about it. I always go left. Take out the wizard, alkalites. Be careful with your thralls. Make sure you always take cover when you're on heavy fire. You can ignore those guys, because you just got to take a left. Keep on taking a left. And you follow through here. Into the Hall of Wisdom. Now you're in the, uh, in, in the Hall of Wisdom, you have to find a shrine. Which the shrine is going to be pretty easy to find, because your ghost will locate it for you. Now, destroy the alkalites. Kill the drag. Make sure you do not fall in that pit. If you fall in the pit, it's a death sentence, as you can probably tell. It's a very far drop. You won't survive. Even though you will die right when you fall down. You won't even be time to hit the bottom. Make sure you always reload whenever you have time to. I'm not saying it's just to be a reload trigger happy person like me. Just just for strategic purposes. You gotta be always prepared for the worst. Try to stay a long way from the wizard. Destroy the alkalites. Go down here, pick up the heavy ammo if you a lot of the hive drop a lot of heavy ammo. The bigger the character, the better chance of getting heavy ammo. Take a left, keep on going, and then you will find the shrine, there's the shrine. right find there. The right there is the shrine. Make sure you jump over, or you don't have to, you can fight out, fight out these dregs first. Now you will take cover here, fight off the rest of them, so they won't pwn you. Head over here. And then you will find an ogre. Be very careful. This is when you should use your super on the ogre. The ogre will die, and you won't.
And that's good. There you go, this tunnel. Fight off the thralls. Go behind the night. Kill it. All these doors will be open for you to go through easily. Don't disturb the Awoken. Or if you do, then you're going to an all-out battle brawl with them. And then what you'll do is you'll go into this little cross right here. Deploy your ghost by the shrine. By the core of the shrine. I'll just get back power you. Now you have to kill the knight. Now the knight is a very hard boss. He is the Eye of Oryx. If you use your supers against him, it will be very easy to kill him. Once you kill him, You will have to destroy the shrine. Destroy it. Just head back. Start sniping at it. Or shooting at it. Whichever one you like best. And then it will blow up. And then the mission will end. We severed their connection. It was communing with something up there. They're gone. And yeah, that is the end of this video. Please like and subscribe for more. And we'll do be in the next video of the Chamber of Night. So stay tuned, and I will see you in the next episode.